Hello everybody. Do you like when you take this back? Because today I'm going to be playing the Tetris Project. A map I have created myself to utilise maximum epicness. So, let's read the rules. Welcome to the Tetris Project. You'll be test okay I've Okay, I've got the sheet that says the rules the four rules on here. So it says I don't have it. If you want to download the map when I put it up for download, when I learn how, <laughs> um, I will tell. I will put the rules in note form. But for right now, I've just written them down on a piece of paper. Um, so the rules are welcome. So this is the story. You are a you are a test subject. For the Tetris project, a space cadet training place that's like <laughs> lol. That's just totally awesome. So and then, basically, you've been put in this big box called the Tetra box. Your mission is to survive. You and then the extensive list is. If you defeat the final boss, then you've basically won. Please play, and then hear it. And as if you go on the final boss, please play. You can play in please fall if you're a noob, or you can play in easy plus. I'm going to be playing in easy. So fall down the hole to start. Turn the lights off first. You may see a check. You may see a checkpoint. You may sleep it. And it's spawn there. Don't destroy blocks unless asked to. No mods allowed unless it help, unless it does help you. You may put this in an NSMP server to play somehow. Creator, you creators YouTube, the MC chap, that's me. Please subscribe. Play in peaceful unless you want to get smushed, smushed by monsters. Lol, lol, lol. But since I'm a wimp, I'm gonna keep the lights on. Lol. We. So let's begin. So we just get out of here. Oh, it's very dark. I have to stand up. So there's a button here. Oh. I do not know what just happened. Oh well. Oh god, dad. Can you see me? Oh no. Oh, I know what it is. It's the um, redstone circuitry in the water. Ah, this is actually quite hard for a noob like me. Ow! Owie, 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 owie. Oh, this is really dark compared to when I made it. Ooh. Oh, right, I need to put it on... Um, no, I guess... Options, video settings. Please play it on normal. No, not normal. I think it was short, yeah. Oh, that's kind of strange. I can see a bunch of mushrooms done that. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, no. Well, I have to respawn. Oh, this is such a hard thing. Oh. And it's in really low lighting condition. Thank you. Yes. There's a light. Ding ding. This will help. So 
this is the Tetris project, as you know. Oh well, at least I didn't fall to the very bottom. Like that. And I'm using Steel Feathers Enchanted Texture Pack. Because it's so awesome. And I got it off the Minecraft forum. No, why am I so rubbish at this? Oh, and here's a little secret. The reason it takes... The reason it's even possible to jump on that, on this piston, because it doesn't go automatically, is because I put a bunch of full-time redstone repeaters up. Oh, phew, finally, good lighting. Run! Okay, I'm, I don't have too many items installed, and I'm playing offline, so I had to edit Steel Feathers to get myself this guy. It's actually an edited version of the Medieval Craft Texture Packs char. Wow, this is such an annoying level. Oh well. Oh, and there are some secrets I've created. Right, three, two, no, three, two, one. <coughs> you know, this is really annoying. Please don't delete the beds, by the way. Because if you delete the beds, then you can't respawn and you'll spawn somewhere random on a super flat, and then you'll spawn somewhere random on a super flat map, which will be annoying. And not just because there's like 50 million slime. Okay, so it's not that lighting up. I like it, it's like a bit of lightning whenever you press the button. Lightning. Oh, and as you can see, it's actually just a piston pushing it from underneath. And believe me, this was kind of a bit complicated, but it isn't very... This map, while it seems complicated, was actually quite simply made completely no mods with except for too many items to get all the blocks and to test it out and stuff and single player commands three two one that was lucky this is really annoying I must warn you, this map is so hard. Just look at this. And I made it. Oh, and um, by the way, be prepared to go like... Be prepared to rage quit if you fall on the way to the final boss. There's an end portal. That's spoilers, but it's an end portal and it's very, very, very annoying. And you know what? I'm going to be forced to do this. I'm going to have to log out and go into creative mode and do this. Do do do. And I will see you next time. And I'm just going to use. And I'm just going to use um, too many items to get there. Okay. Bye. Blah.